My name is Peter Darch. I'm a professor for biochemistry and human physiology in retirement. I am the chief executive officer of a private research institute named Darch Scientific. The institute has been engaged in interdisciplinary preclinical research in the fields of medicine, chemistry, biology, physiology, and biochemistry for more than 20 years. We work exclusively with methods that do not involve animal experiments. That means we are working with organ-specific cell cultures. In doing so, we develop and use scientifically accepted test systems that simulate specific effects at the cellular level and can thus provide proof of effect. In 2020, Oliver Schacke, Chief Executive Officer of the company 9010, contacted me. He told me about the features of the 9010 cube he had developed and about the principle of quantum physical product refinement. In the past, we have often investigated so-called quantum physical phenomena and we made surprising findings. Completely new for me was the investigation of effects after objects have been enriched with energy, even over a long distance as described by Oliver Schacke. This seemed to be a particularly interesting topic for me. Since I have a background in conventional medicine, I'm naturally a very skeptical person when investigations of this kind are planned. But at the same time, I'm open-minded and do not judge beforehand. Therefore, I'm not always seeking for an explanation of the observed effects. Many of the observations and results we have made in our institute cannot be explained by conventional scientific knowledge and are, therefore, actually impossible. Oliver Schacke and myself agreed to perform a first preliminary test. For this purpose, I mailed him photographs of Petri dishes with and without seeded cells. The photographs were tagged with the corresponding target coordinates of the Petri dishes to be treated. A cell culture that was not exposed to quantum energy but was cultivated in the same manner was taken as corresponding control culture. For the start of the experiment, Oliver Schacke and myself arranged a definite time schedule. Exactly at that time point, Oliver Schacke placed the photographs into the 9010 cube and left them for the complete duration of the test. The airline distance between the cube and the cells was a little more than 8,600 kilometers. We examined cultured fibroblasts. This is the main cell type of connective tissue. We wanted to determine whether cell regeneration or wound healing taking place in the Petri dish was positively influenced by the 9010 quantum energy, which was sent from a distant place. The experimental procedure is quite technical and the exact description would lead too far at this point. In principle, we are talking about the colonization of a cell-free space within a very dense cell layer. A cell-free space can be compared with a cut. It is subsequently closed by migration and increased proliferation of cells. To my surprise, the cells exposed to quantum energy showed a significantly better cell regeneration. That means the cell-free space was closed much faster by the cells when compared to the untreated controls. This effect 
was particularly evident in Petri dishes that had been energized over distance together with the seeded cells. The different closure of the cell-free space can be visualized by a dynamic time-lapse video comparison. Motivated by the impressive results of the first preliminary test, we conducted subsequent experiments to validate the results. Of course, there were variations in the results of the individual experiments. However, such variations are completely normal for biological material. In summary, 9010 quantum entanglement, improved cell regeneration or wound healing significantly in comparison to the untreated control. This is a very mentionable beneficial effect. Among the many studies we have conducted over the last two decades, the method developed by Oliver Schacke has the top ranking when it comes to an increased cell regeneration or wound healing process. Certainly, we shall conduct further investigations in the future to prove the beneficial effects of the 9010 cube and quantum entanglement with scientifically accepted methods.